protest the Keystone XL pipeline, which is I'm sure all of you are at least a little bit aware that company is, is constructing. It's a 1,700 mile pipeline that's going to carry tar sands oil from Canada to Texas. We've all been fighting this for over a year now. Like I'm sure that y'all remember too the, the rest of last August and the, the start of the White House last November. And somehow we're still fighting this pipeline, um, which is a little ridiculous to all of us. So we decided that it's time to, to step up this fight a little bit to tell, to, you know, Obama was just reelected and somehow this is still on the table and so we want to drive it. We want to drive it home that this is not something that we're going to stand for, and so we're taking the we're taking our fight against the Eastern XL pipeline, against the development of tar sands oil, and against climate change to wherever we can take it to, and that means New England, that means Texas, that means Canada, that means wherever things are happening, we're going to go there. And so we went there into their office, and we locked ourselves down. Um, we also did super glue our hands together. The media has really picked up on the glue thing. It was not actually that big of a deal compared to the, the chains in terms of being there. They were actually able to just pull our hands apart after about an hour and a half, so like glue, but I'm glad that, that that's interesting to people. So I guess if, that, if you like super glue, I think that's a cool way to talk about that. But really it was the chains that kept us there. Um, so yeah, the eight of us, we got in there, we went in groups into the office, and we sort of rushed in, shouted, this is a non, but this is a peaceful protest against the Keystone XL pipeline, sat down, locked ourselves together in record time, I think. We practiced a lot, but it felt like we felt really fast. Um, and then and then we were we were there. We were chained around the waist, our angels were chained together, our hands were glued together. Um, there was one secretary in the Trans Canada office that we sat in and she upon seeing us enter was like, no, what? Excuse me, and they sort of ran away. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then they called the police, the police showed up, talked to us for a while, had sort of a hard time figuring out like what to do about us. So us from Massachusetts, they hadn't really seen this kind of thing before. Uh, a lot of equipment was considered and brought out. Um, so like, you know, a locksmith came through and there was some drilling and a lot of sawing and um, a lot of the process of lost sparks, lots of shards of metal on their carpet, like a whole big or big affair about three or so hours later. We um, stayed for Shea, who had been extricated um, after a few hours of us marched out in handcuffs alone, uh, which was quite a dramatic sight. We were then, the seven of us were, after those hours, we marched out of the office in a chain gang to press cameras, which again was wonderful. <laughs> seven police wagon in, a, in our locked up little gang. Uh, they were processed eventually and being arranged tomorrow, but it's been quite an adventure. And just again, thank you to everyone who supported us and continues to support us. If you haven't seen our website yet, January 7th, with the number 7th.wordpress.com, uh, there's a donation page there too to help us with jail fees and other logistical stuff. So, but just, just thank you. Thank you so much to every single one of you. If anyone has a question, Um, and how 
dramatic they've made this, you know, and, and the, the title of the film, gosh, was Just Do It, and I think that really rang with us. Um, this is something that we are all capable of. This, you know, we, had, we did this in two months. Anyone can do this. We, we were all just friends sitting in a church basement, and we were like, we, we want to make this happen. Um, and I think that's all that it really takes is just getting together with people you know. And, and I think we should really just also emphasize how much support we had from people who were sitting in this room, like Marla and like Marla and everyone. And everyone, um, do they want to send Ken and so do they want to send up and you know, so thank them because this doesn't happen without the people who were calling and and picking us up and the at the jail and and sending out everything. So, so thank you. I'm a senior at Tufts. I'm a senior at the University of New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. And I'm 